what did you make of what he had to say? Well, I, I feel that, um, whilst of course the Prime Minister performed well, he always does, um, it, it didn't disguise the weakness of the case for remaining in the EU. I feel that it's vital that we regain democratic control of making our own laws and in particular democratic control of our immigration policy. I was elected on a manifesto to bring immigration down to the tens of thousands. I feel that it's going to be very difficult to do that whilst we stay in the EU. I want to give power back to the government that we elect to deliver on that promise. The argument that he made over and over again last night when he's been pushed on that was that by leaving the EU, economically it would damage us so badly we wouldn't be able to control immigration anyway and that would have a bigger impact on us here in the UK. £4,000 a family, a household, would be worse off if you were to leave. Well, and, and Faisal Ahmed from Sky challenged that number. I mean, all, even the sort of negative reports talking down the UK economy, all of them acknowledge that in the longer term we will still be growing. The debate is about how much. And the reality is if, if the EU was so great for jobs, why have they got sky-high levels of youth unemployment in so many EU countries? The reality is the Eurozone economy is in a poor state. Why should we lock ourselves into um, a trading block with a stagnant economy? And actually, this is going to intensify the migration pressure because young people in countries like Spain and Greece and Italy are increasingly going to try to escape unemployment and economic failure in the rest of the EU by seeking work in the UK. You can see why people who are trying to make their mind up get very confused, can't you? You're Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, you're a trusted member of the Conservative Party within David Cameron's cabinet, and you just pointed out that he had to be challenged on his figures and that he'd got his economics wrong. How on earth is anybody meant to believe any politicians when two people of the same government uh, are, are getting, accusing each other of getting things wrong? He's the leader of your party. Well, it's a very difficult situation for all of us. I, I hate being on the other side of the debate from the Prime Minister, but we are talking here and about restoring our democracy. We're talking here about whether we become in this country an independent self-governing democracy again. I felt very strongly that I had to be on the campaign to lead because I think we need to take back control of making our own laws. Do you see why from the outside mm. it does look like the Tories are tearing themselves apart as well, though? If you're sort of sitting watching objectively, and as Kate points out, you're all part of the same government, that not a year ago you were all pushing and cheering and tearing in the same direction. Now all of a sudden you're, you're undermining your Prime Minister. We are working together on delivering our manifesto, yes, on this one question. But you see why that seems like that? It's a big question. It's a cornerstone of democracy. It's about the very fundamentals of where our country goes and our country's future. And you're in disagreement. It's very hard for people to know who to trust. Well, what I would say is we are absolutely determined to continue to work together to deliver on our manifesto regardless of the outcome of the referendum. But I think it's going to be easier to deliver on our manifesto commitments if we take back democratic control over big decisions on issues like immigration. Are you worried we you can won't, only do that if we leave. Are you worried you won't be the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland um, if you, you know, after the referendum, particularly if you vote out, is he going to have to change everything round and get rid of the people, whatever the result, that I disagreed mean, with him? I, I have no idea what the impact on you know, my future will be for, with all of this, but I felt that I had to stick to my mm. principles. I had to do what I thought was best for this country. It's best to take back control. It's best to vote leave.